Have you ever woken up with bad red eyes, maybe due to a late night out or maybe too many cups of coffee the previous day, or even maybe your allergies have decided to flare up overnight, but it's morning now and you need to go to work or you have an important meeting so you don't want to look tired or get questioned about your red eyes. So you look for things that will get rid of the redness. So on your journey for redness relief, you go to the pharmacy and find the eye with the eye drops to see what can help. And there's a large selection of eye drops, which makes it very confusing and you don't know which one is going to work for you. You might see words on the packaging such as redness relief, irritation relief, allergy relief, or clinically proven. And you go to yourself, hey, that's what I need. So you buy some eye drops, put in your eyes, and pretty quickly, the redness in your eyes are gone. The next day, you've woken up with red eyes again. So you put some more drops in, and within moments, your red eyes clear up again. You go, wow, this is great. So you keep continuing to use the eye drops daily until you seem to be relying on them more over time. And you start to find that your eyes get extremely red if you don't put a drop or maybe even a few drops in on a single given day. Eventually, you feel that you have become addicted to the drops and can't seem to live without them. So at this point, you're probably wondering which drops I'm talking about. Well, I'm actually talking about a class of drugs called decongestants. And the most common brands of decongestants on the market are Visine, Clear Eyes, and Nafcon A. And decongestants constrict the blood vessels in your eyes, making them smaller, giving the appearance of clearer and wider eyes. While Clear Eyes, Visine, and Nafcon A are all decongestants, they contain different active ingredients. The main active ingredient in Visine is tetrahydrozoline hydrochloride, while in Clear Eyes and Nafcon A, it is nafazoline hydrochloride. What's problematic with these ingredients is that with continued use, those constricted blood vessels redilate or expand to a bigger size than what it was initially, making your eyes appear more red. This is why these decongestants can be problematic, where overuse can eventually lead you to be over-reliant on it to maintain white eyes. If you stop using it, then that redness becomes your normal state. This is what we call rebound redness, and it's a process that occurs due to tachyphylaxis. And tachyphylaxis means a decreased response to a drug following its initial administration, and is known issue with this class of decongestant eye drops. The packaging on Visine, Clear Eyes, and Nafcon A bottles even advises its patients to be careful with overuse, as it may cause more redness, but it's in the fine print. So what do you use then if you shouldn't use these decongestants? The more important question is what is causing your red eyes? And there are a lot of reasons for red eyes, so we need to figure out what the cause is first before we can decide on the best treatment. And most causes of redness can be grouped to being either due to an infection or due to inflammation. And by using these decongestant eye drops, it can actually mask the true cause of redness and make it more difficult for your eye doctor to diagnose. One of the most common inflammatory cause of red eyes is dry eyes. Especially nowadays where most people spend a lot of time on screens and devices, you don't tend to blink as often, causing your eyes to dry out faster. With dry eyes, using a lubricating eye drop can help, such as Sustain or my favorite, Hylofort. Lubricating drops re-moisturizes the surface and will relieve the redness due to irritated dry eyes without causing any rebound redness. You can even use it a couple of times a day if required and it won't harm your eyes. If redness is due to allergies, there are better drops that target the allergy symptoms, such as antihistamine drops, with the active ingredients olipatidine or ketotifen. In Australia, we have patinol or zatidin. Redness due to more serious issues, such as infections or inflammatory conditions, won't get better with Visine, Nafcon A, or Clear Eyes, and it is not made for this purpose and definitely requires further evaluation and treatment by your eye doctor. So using these decongestant drops may actually make matters worse by masking the true cause of the problem and delay your treatment. So if the redness persists even after trialing the lubricating eye drops, or if you have other symptoms with the red eyes, such as like discharge, pain, light sensitivity, or vision changes, then definitely see your eye doctor to get that checked out. I mean, there is still a place for Visine or Clear Eyes and Nafcon A, like if you need to have that quick red eye fix for special occasions such as weddings, or for a photo shoot, or if you had a really big night out and you need to go to the work the next day. But an even better alternative to Visine Clear Eyes or Nafcon A is Lumify. So Lumify also works by constricting the blood vessels to relieve redness, but it acts on a slightly different receptor on the eye, which doesn't cause the rebound redness after you stop using it. Now you all know what happens if you overuse Visine, Clear Eyes, or Nafcon A. So use sparingly or use the alternative drops I mentioned. Of course, if you don't notice any improvements, see your eye doctor to get it checked out. 
If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you want to see more interesting eye-related videos, and leave a comment if you've ever used these drops. I'll catch you in the next video.